my name is Ryan Gray and I'm a physical therapist. And I want to do a video today about resistance exercises, just body weight resistance exercises. And this is the kind of video that I wish that I would have had when I was first starting out as a physical therapist. There aren't a lot of videos about this, but it's really practical and these are some of the things that I use the most. And that's how I chose these exercises. I got six exercises here. And they're the ones that I do the very most with the kids. The good thing about these exercises is that they can be done anytime, anywhere, and that they don't need any special equipment. My philosophy with the exercises that we do with the kids is that every single exercise that we do needs to have a specific reason for that specific child. We shouldn't do just an exercise because that's the way that we always do it, just because it's routine, but we should have a good reason. If I were to ask you why you're doing this exercise, you should have a good reason to be able to tell me why you're doing it for that specific kid. Now, usually their form won't be perfect with these exercises, and usually I'm okay with that. I just want them to do the best they can. Now, if the form looks really bad, we won't have them do that exercise, but if it's a little off, I'm okay with that. And finally, as far as the number of repetitions go, just the more the better. I like to get the most out of the kids that they can do until they start getting really tired, or until their form just starts getting so bad that we need to stop. So let's get to the exercises. First we have push-ups. You want the form to be as good as possible. Most kids won't be able to do them perfectly and that's okay. You wanna make them a little easier, just have the kids get down on their knees and do them. With sit-ups, you can have the kids have the hands behind the head or you can change so that the hands are crossed. You can also have them just reach their arms straight out in front of them so like they're trying to reach as far as they can forward. With lots of kids, you'll have to hold their feet you can also hold their hands to help them pull up. But if you do that, still make sure that they're doing as much work as possible so you're not just pulling them up and doing all the work for them. Planks, have them keep their body as straight as possible. To make it easier, just have them put their knees on the ground. Bridges, have the kids try and make a straight line from their shoulders to their hips to their knees. If they have a hard time staying up high enough, just tell them to lift up their belly button higher and that usually does the trick. Simply getting up and down from the ground repeatedly can be a great exercise. If they can do it without holding on to anything, that's best. If they need to hold on to something to pull themselves up, that's okay also. With younger kids, lots of times you can have them act like they're sleeping. And then wake up. Wake up, stand up. And then you can just progress, make it harder until it becomes like a burpee for older kids that might be able to do that. A wall sit is a great exercise to work on leg strength. I usually like to time the kids to see how long they can do it and we'll try and beat their previous record. You want the hips and knees to both be at 90 degrees the best that they can. Many kids can't go that low, but just know that the lower that they go, the better it is for their legs and their muscles. I hope you enjoyed that video and learned something from it. The key points are that these are some of the most common exercises that I give. You can always get more fancy and creative, but this is just a good, well-rounded set of exercises that are really helpful for the right kids. Uh, body weight resistance exercises are very versatile and the kids can do them anytime, anywhere, and you don't need any special equipment. Always make sure you need to have a reason to give a child a specific exercise. And as always, we want to keep the exercises fun and make sure the kids are safe doing them. Thank you. I'll see you next video.